We're here in Lossy Mouth, myself, Carla, Tim, and, and we're here step. to see what the Lord wants to do today. We're going to carry on doing outreach. While the world is running around like headless chickens full of fear, people still need to know the Lord, even more so now. So we're going out into the streets to reach the lost. We're going to see what the Lord wants to do and just share the gospel with people to bring hope, to bring joy, to bring life to them in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. So we'll let you know. Come and join us if you want. When we go out into the streets, you can get hold of us and we'll take you with us and we'll show you how to reach the lost. There are so many people who need to know Jesus. And when we see how the world is going now, more so the believers need to step up and go out and show people who Jesus is and reveal the kingdom of God to them and heal them. So join us. Do you have any sickness or pain in your body at all or, or illness? My back. Your back? Is it sore now? Yeah, every night. Every night. Okay, okay, okay. So I will I speak to your back and right now I command all the pain to go. Complete healing, all muscle strain, all damage, all nerve damage be completely restored, be completely healed right now. How does it feel? Yes, good. Does it feel good? <laughs> Do you believe yeah. in God? You are a Christian, right? Yeah. Good, good. 100% Christian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good. 100% Christian. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Well, I really appreciate you letting us pray for you. Um, we're all Christians. We travel around all over the UK in different places and we pray for people. We share the gospel with people and we show them that Jesus loves them and that he heals people. Yeah? yeah, yeah. You believe in that? Yeah, I believe. Tristan! <laughs> May I ask you a question? <laughs> Bridges. Here we go. It's actually not there. It's gone. There you go. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> 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 Would have been too stale, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah? It's gone. How do you feel now? I feel alive! <laughs> 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 what we do is uh, stroke actually out of violence. We all follow Jesus. Jesus is well. He's healed the sick. 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 He's there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the Bible tells me so. It's true. We're just doing a short documentary. We're traveling around the country, yeah. And we're asking people a question. Did you ask the question? No. No. Well, that's good. That's good. We don't want you to have pain. But if people do, we lay hands on them and they get healed. Have you heard of that before? Yes, I have. All right. Do you believe in God? Yes, I do. You do? Good, yes. Yeah, yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a good person? Yes. Can I put that to the test? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever told a lie? I think we all tell a lie. Okay, so if, if you were telling lies, if I was lying to you, what would you call me? I would call you uh, such as a liar. A liar? Uh, Have you ever stolen anything? No. Never? Not even as a child? No. Okay. Have you ever looked at another person and lusted after them in your mind? Lost yeah, <laughs> come on. This is the one that gets most of us, of course, of course, because you're human, right? Yeah. God says that you shall not commit adultery. Jesus said if you even look at a person's lust after them in your mind, you committed adultery in your heart. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Yeah, God has a standard. And that, that standard I was just going through with you is called the Ten Commandments. Out of the four I just gave you, you've broken three. But don't worry, we've all broken them. Mm. So, but according to your own Admission, you are a lying, adulterous, blasphemer at heart. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to just paint a quick picture. Imagine you went to court. Imagine you were caught doing 120 in a 30 mile zone and you knocked someone over but you didn't kill them but you were caught on CCTV and you're before the judge. And he says, we've got the evidence, you're bust, you're guilty. And you go, yes, you're on, I am. He says, 10,000 pound fine or three months in jail and you go, Your Honor, I don't have the money. Then you have to do the three months. And before you're being taken away by the bailiff, somebody comes in and says, Your Honor, I have a check for £10,000 for Donaldo. Legally, he has to let you go. The price is paid for you. One day you and I are going to die and we're going to face the righteous judge of all. And according to his standards, we're all guilty. We've broken them. Even just that little exercise we looked at. The time is hell. Being free is heaven. 
Are you innocent or guilty? Based on what we just spoke about. Guilty. So, what will it be, heaven or hell? I'd like to think it will go to heaven. Yeah, but because he's a righteous judge, we've broken those, it would be hell. But here's the comparison to the court case. Somebody has paid the price, the fine for us, Jesus. He paid, that's the whole purpose of Jesus coming, Donaldo, was to pay the price for you and I. You can either accept it or reject it. You, when somebody came to pay that 10,000 pounds for you, you could say, I don't like that person, I'm not accepting it, and you have to do the time. And that's what Jesus has done for you and I. And that's what I wanted to share with you. He's paid the price. To accept it means we repent of our sins. We turn away from our old way of living and we walk with God into the new way of life. That's accepting the price that Jesus paid. We repent of our sins, we get baptized, we rise in new creation and we get filled with the Holy Spirit. That is how you accept the price that was paid. Have you done that in your life? No. We will probably never see you again. And we have nothing to gain, we don't want anything from you. Except maybe one day when we get there to say, Hey, good to see you, Donaldo. Because you're there. Because you understood and you accepted the price that Jesus paid. And that's why we're sharing what we're sharing today. Okay. Thank you Thank very you. much for your time, I really appreciate it. Can Thank you. Can you quick before you go? To yes, you can. <laughs> I yeah. yeah. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time. We really appreciate you listening. Thank you, Donalda.